Tonight, before you go to bed, make an inspection tour of your ice box. How's that Pabst Blue Ribbon Supply holding out? Tomorrow morning when your dealer says, What did you have? Say, Pabst Blue Ribbon. What else? That's my home voice. All right, now I'm good. Oh, glorious day. I'm ready. Yeah? Yep. This time I am. It's I'm waiting for the for hold on. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hello Harm podcast. I'm your host, Alex Luby, and I'm joined, as always, by the horniest of homies to sail the seven seas, Mr. Anthony Luby and Wook Farnsworth. And we have a message for you. We love eating mulch. Mulch gang for life. Do not deceive us. Why have you deceived us? You will regret I, this. I you... am a sleepy boy after eating <laughs> all of my mulch and microplastics. It takes a lot out of me. Luke, Luke somehow stumbled upon dogs eating mulch TikTok. It's, but like, it's not videos of dogs eating mulch. It's videos of dogs with people talking about how they like eating mulch. And I don't, yeah. un I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know why I get it. I don't know how to describe it. I wasn't interacting with it and would not stop getting them. So now I'm just interacting with them because I guess it doesn't matter. TikTok's fucking algorithm isn't real. It's not real. Dude, it shows you what you want to see. I don't want to see that. <laughs> and that's all I see. So I just said, fuck it. Now I want to see it. And now it'll probably stop showing me. TikTok shows you perfectly tailored things that you want to see i like why would cars. i want videos about eating mulch you like dogs eating mulch or not the dogs it, but eating it's mulch not, it's videos <laughs> it's about videos dogs, dogs, dogs and eating mulch and, yeah and eating mulch in the same video not not separate videos they're videos yeah. of dogs and eating mulch mm -hmm. but no one has seen eating mulch it's just Talk no, no they're just talking about how much they love to eat mulch i love eating mulch i love eating mulch they're very funny though i, I did enjoy the I, one I, I, I don't know why the fuck they're there there's that and i've been watching i've been getting a lot of japanese people getting sturdy as fuck that's awesome <laughs> i mean like aggressively sturdy i saw one cool. today I like that it was a Japanese woman, and all, every single comment I saw was like, don't do it to him, sturdy one san and shit like that. Like, every single comment. You don't, don't gotta do, do it, it to him. getting sturdy on him. You don't gotta do it to him, sturdy ne san There's another one. It's this old-ass guy. He fucking rips shit. Every comment's like, don't do it to him, ji-chan. Get out of there, sturdy ji-chan. It's everything. Like, there's a million comments of them saying that. It's getting sturdy in the land of the rising sun. I think it's because J1 stopped sending me videos of this, I think she was Japanese woman, just drinking Hennessy, and every oh, comment yeah. was about how much they also love Hennessy, yeah. and her responses were always, I love Hennessy. Well, I love Henny, because she does refer to it as the yeah, Henny. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. She'd be she sipping would, on the Henny. She would drink, like, every meal with Hennessy. She, like, there, she has hundreds of bottles of empty bottles of henny like like uh, everywhere i'm like what the fuck is wrong with this woman that's not okay that's it's a lot of henny she drinks a lot of henny she loves it though so it's fine yeah it, it was a lot it's not a problem because she loves henny yeah if you like it it's not an issue i saw one comment and it was like sipping on the henny like it's sweet tea is crazy or something like that and i was like i don't why why are you here <laughs> how I did you how did you people find this video? I'll be honest, I hate Hennessy. I haven't had it in um, many years. Please so don't I, cancel I don't us for what Alex just said. I it's don't okay. remember what it tastes like. Luke, do you I, actually drink it? I love Henny enough for the both of us. I'm not here to limit our viewer base based off of Alex's terrible opinions on the you can, sweet you can, you nectar can bring that it is to the Henny. Function. You can bring it to the function. The sweet nectar that is Henny. <laughs> what does it taste like? Henny. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to see what is what does Google say? I, like, I, taste like imagine describing like just raw yes. liquor. Like, <laughs> yeah, that probably is a good way to put it. Hennessy. Hey, what does whiskey taste like? It's supposed to taste like. It's a cognac. Um, yeah. Cognac. There's oh, Hennessy cognac. for every budget. Oh, God. Yeah. P.S. is Henny, aged at least Henny. four years and has a mixture notes of fresh fruit, spice, and rich vanilla and tobacco undertones. Ew. I'm sure you can taste all of that. Yeah. I'm sure it doesn't just taste like fucking liquor. This one's supposed to be 
uh, Hennessy XO is crafted from a blend of aged a minimum of 10 years and has a warming note of candied fruit, chocolate, and hints of wood and pepper. They have Henny Hugs and Kisses? Oh, yeah. It's for February. I wonder if um, one tastes like cigarette butts. It, again, I'm pretty sure it just tastes like liquor. I, Whatever flavors they are saying that it tastes <laughs> like, exist. I can guarantee you <laughs> that it, it all gets washed out by the taste of liquor. It's like, um, say you have regular terrible Jack Daniels and then you get the honey. It doesn't taste like honey. Yeah, does it taste like honey when we drank that? No, it tasted like fucking tastes like, yeah, gross it, it ass Jack like Daniels. Liquor. I don't know. It had honey notes. It does, in no, it does lie. not have honey notes. People just no. the thing people say with that is it went down so smooth. It was so smooth. It, it was still just fucking liquor. I think you're I just think, a hater. I think you like yeah. Jack Daniels. This guy loves Jack. Daniels. He hates <laughs> Henny and likes Jack. I cannot believe that you are gonna get us canceled. Jack is mid. It's not me. It's garbage. It's shit ass liquor. It's bottom tier. That is the worst of the worst. It's like Old Crow. I, old Crow was. I would really no. Old, I, I I put them in the same boat. Yeah, I, I would the drink, same boat. I would drink Jack before Old Crow. I would old, drink. I would shoot Crow. myself. <laughs> I would I not want either. to drink either. Old Crow. I would was just bad. choose to not drink liquor at that point if I had to choose. If someone said. Hey, you drink it tonight? You want Old Crow or Jack Daniels? I'm taking the Jack Daniels and hitting them over the head with I'm it. I'm going to say, get me neither. a Pepsi or like any carbonated beverage or anything. Water. What do you got that is not shit liquor? I would drink a Pepsi over Old Crow. Easy. I would also drink a Pepsi over an Old Crow. I don't even like Pepsi and I would drink a Pepsi I, over an yeah. Old Crow. not really the biggest Pepsi fan and I nope. would still drink it over an Old Crow. Now, what about Pilk? <laughs> Pilk is just delicious. It's got to, you got to get the right mixture. Yeah. Well, Luke, you were drinking what? um. I was drinking Pilk and milk. Nitro. Yeah, yeah, I was drinking, drinking that, but and milk. I also had Pilk Nitro, and it was pretty good. Isorono and milk is great. Yeah, it's it like is good. cherry milk. It's fucking awesome. It's delicious. Yeah. No. Pilk is an interesting one. What's the what's the mix for Pilk? What's the right? I don't think there's like option. Uh, Thirty seventy. I don't know. Who knows? We're, you guys probably mixed it wrong because we tried to make the flavor and did the exact opposite of what any of us thought we would have to do to make it. Yeah. We did what was cheap. even the right mix for the flavor? Because it wasn't 50-50. A splash of cucumber, yeah. lime, fucking Gatorade, and then like 90% of it was yeah. hard. Mike's harder cranberry. <laughs> we have it video. tasted we like... Find it. That is weird. It really didn't. It was just liquid. You just drank it liquid. Did. It was void. Yeah, it was, it was, it was null. Type null. Type. It was type. Funny null. thing. Um, I was like, just I was just on Instagram. Uh, this was probably weeks ago, but on someone's uh, story, they put a picture of the Gatorade flavor cucumber lime. They were like, "This is the best flavor of Gatorade. No questions asked." I was like, Dude. "They don't want anyone to ask questions because then they'd have to answer it." <laughs> How yeah. do you genuinely buy that and think like, "Man, I love drinking cucumber." How does Gatorade still keep making it is I, the better question. Yeah, we because, were like crazy happy when we found it at the Kroger. And it was like full stock still. It mm -hmm. wasn't selling because it's It's awful. hard to find. It's just dog shit. Because it's bad and nobody, no store wants to purchase it because then they have to sell it and they can't. It's like the Jack Daniels at Gatorade. Yeah. What do you guys have against Jack? It's terrible. It's bad. What do you have it's for mid. Jack? It's, it's not bad. No, it's not mid. I don't the like Henny. The bottle's cool. It's a square. Okay. I would drink Jack Daniels over Henny. I would. I. And see, this is exactly where your opinion is just <laughs> wrong. You're just Anthony's wrong. He's never even thing. had Henny. I've he doesn't had even it. know it's what it's like. It's just been a long time. Maybe, I, maybe I need to try it again because it has been a long time. Let's mix it quite with, a while. Uh, let's mix it with some orange juice or milk. I think the truth is, I don't to think you even mix. Do milk. you even mix it's, any? Yeah, you don't. No, not usually. Most people oh. just drink it straight. That's crazy. Uh, honey I mean, mixed. <laughs> you can mix it. It's just whiskey. Ten classic henny cocktails. Oh my god! Give me the henny cocktail. Henny Hennessy Margarita. 
What the fuck do you mean? Love Hennessy, Hennessy and want to try so, try something Hennessy to do with margarita? it. Hennessy margarita. Don't try the Hennessy margarita. <laughs> Imagine or this don't. classy cognac with a aged tequila, lime, and orange liqueur makes a seriously sophisticated drink. Have you ever wanted to vomit <laughs> and black out after a drink? There you go. Hennessy mix, and tequila. Mix Hennessy. Mix any two hard liquors together and see what happens. In one delicious ice frothy beverage. Yes, so we took this tequila, this Hennessy, this gin, and a dark tequila, and we mixed them all together. <laughs> and we Hennessy put in... and Coke is apparently a thing. Oh, so, so is Jack and Coke. Want a quick and dirty both... Hennessy cocktail? <laughs> whiskeys. <laughs> they're both whiskeys. You can drink whiskey and Coke. It's a normal drink. Yeah, but Hennessy is, like, different. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> they serve Hennessy hot. Hot Henny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Give, give me a hot Henny. Give me a hot Henny. Hennessy Alexander. What is that one? Equal parts creamy, intriguing, and delicious. A mix of Hennessy with cocoa hey, liqueur milk. and heavy cream. It's creamy. It's milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a, it's just milk and Henny. That's what we should... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we should do one night. We should just take a bunch of liquors and mix it with milk and see what happens. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's just do it. I have a ton in there that I just don't drink. Oh, we yeah. Could, we could up the ante. Imagine gin and by, milk. Um, well, hold on. Let's hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Not joke. Dude, it's joke. No, but we could, we could take liquor and milk and do one with cold milk and then microwave the milk. With something else too, <laughs> <laughs> to make like hot cocoa for the season. Or we could not vomit. That'd be a good idea. I'm yeah, actually could, just though. still thinking about the piney taste of gin in some fucking <laughs> milk, some and milk. I hate it. It's gonna. It makes me you know, throw up. I think the ultimate Christmas beverage would be eggnog and gin. Egg joke. What? <laughs> Is gin your favorite? Is that your go-to? Gin's my favorite, but like the the piney scentiness of gin and the delicious warm eggnog. I think I've had eggnog once. I drank, Alex, we did the eggnog challenge. Yeah, we did. What the fuck is eggnog made out of? <laughs> Eggs. Eggnog. And noggin. <laughs> it's equal part egg and nog. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> People put alcohol in eggnog all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like gin it's, and eggnog, that'd be epic. It's an, it's Eggs, an uh, egg yolk, sugar, milk, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. We should make our own eggnog and then put gin in it. Fuck yeah, that's the ultimate. Fuck it. When I come up egg for jog. the holidays, uh, we'll make eggnog in your kitchen. And egg then, gog. We're making and eggnog then in the kitchen. Put gin in it. You know, I think for an appetizer, we should fry up some pizza rolls. Oh, saute some pizza saute. rolls. Yeah, it's been a we while. We should saute some pizza rolls and make eggnog. <laughs> Those were fire. We sound like middle-aged, like single husbands, single, yeah. single, single fathers. I'm getting festive, drinking my eggs all, with my gin. Oh, uh, hey, it's my weekend with the kids. Yeah, we're making sautéed pizza rolls and cooking up some eggnog. All I have is gin in there, so we're just gonna mix that in. I'm too lazy to cook, so I'm just gonna put. Pizza rolls in a pan and hope it turns out okay. <laughs> it's way more effort than just making pizza oh, rolls. It's, so it's the illusion of no, we didn't yeah. eat microwave food. I I broke out the pans and the spatulas. It's, and... <laughs> it's the illusion of choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's no. true. That is actually true. No, I actually got prepared to cook this. This took we longer can, than twenty minutes. It took longer get than like two minutes. Red wine and throw it in there to cook yeah, down yeah. to cook we can make a nice red. red wine. <laughs> A sauteed reduced, pizza roll dish. A reduced red wine sauce to top our pizza roll dish with. Yeah. And then put like little parsley leaves on top. Yeah. And chives. Yeah, chives. Chives are like the ultimate like hopper. Yeah. I, guess. I made I made a fancy thing. Here's Garnish. Some chives some, yeah, throw some chives on it. Throw some chives on this fancy dish I made and it's just sauteed pizza roll. <laughs> Yes, chef. I made sauteed pizza rolls. 
Imagine being on like Iron Chef and you saute some pizza rolls and Gordon Ramsay's like spitting in your face. I should. And then he tries one. And he's like, he tastes like pizza rolls. <laughs> Just kind of crispy. These are... No, but he would say that's the best damn pizza roll he's ever had. I don't think he would ever say that. I think he would. He's probably I, never even eaten a pizza roll. I was about to say, I don't think the words, those are the best damn pizza roll, period, <laughs> have ever come out of his mouth. You know, he has a line of, like, frozen microwavable foods now. What? Yeah. Yeah. He does a lot, dude. He's crazy. Yeah, Rams, he's cool. I like him. I like he's Gordon. He's a three-star Michelin chef. He fucks hard. <laughs> With purpose. With purpose. And vigor. Vigor. Yeah. Vigor and purpose. Vigor and purpose. It's our Gordon Ramsay. That's our Ramsay. He's Gordon out here. Ah, oh, man. I'm drinking some good old Gatorade. I have a nice glass of water. Nice. Got the Gator Gang. Zero sugar. <clears throat> Zero sugar. I'm trying to think if there was anything notable in anime this week. I'm going to posture um, check shows. myself real fast. Free Ray was based. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. At the end of the episode, I like was so speechless. I held my breath for 40 seconds straight. I couldn't breathe. It was. I was like, "Holy fuck!" That might have been the single best episode of anime I possibly have ever seen. She dropped the single hardest line of all time. Fucking yeah. Kill yourself <laughs> on main. She told. She said to kill yourself on main. She held no bars. Didn't care. She said, yeah, then... "Don't care." Didn't ask. Kill yourself now. Freerin, she took a sip of the Henny and went crazy. Yeah. I think had... that's what really happened here. Dude, she was she was off to Henny at that point, bro. Yeah. I'm so pissed at X, formerly known as Twitter. Did it get spoiled for you? Yeah, before I even watched it. <laughs> I was so fucking mad. So I'm like, oh, great. Now I know what's coming up. So, like, I mean, the the... The immersion was not ruined when I watched the episode, but it did suck when I knew that instead of like, oh, I thought maybe she'd do some big spell and kill her, or something crazy would happen. No, she did something, something did way happen. harder. She did something, yeah, she did something way more thug. She went, she went way She didn't even in the pain. do anything. She just showed up to the function. She just sat there. She said, all yeah. right, nice scales, dipshit, kill yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> that she fucking killed herself. And then she killed herself. It was it the was most insane. A, B, C fucking set of circumstances ever. I like, But it was I'm... still one of the most badass fights. I like, like ever. Homeboy. Too hard. What's Fern and uh, Homeboy were fighting. And he suddenly came to the realization. He's like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, I like that a lot. He's like, what? He's like, you fucking cheated. She's like, fuck you. And then blew a hole in him. <laughs> wow, you have no respect for yourself as a mage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, she's like, I don't care what you say. Cool. You're gay. And she shoots him like. <laughs> you're gay, didn't ask. <laughs> fucking kills him. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus you're white. Kill yourself. L plus ratio. Yeah. Touch Skill grass. Issue. L plus ratio. Plus touch grass. Yeah, that was like one of the most badass scenes and then when uh it was the flashback with freerin and her uh mentor and sh they're just walking along and then the demons come out of the forest and you're like oh shit it's about to get real and then homegirl just like nukes them like into, the entire like, area yeah like, yeah like that that part of the map doesn't exist anymore yeah. she said goodbye it is geographic geologically Geographically, it is geologically, no. geologically, I think. Geological. Net geographic. I think it's geographic. It's ge if you're talking I'm about sure. a map, it's geographic. If you're talking about rocks, it's geological. Or Alex, are we physically there or looking at a map? Uh, we're physically there. We're talking about the geology of the environment. Would that so work? So it's geological. Well, geology is about rocks. The rocks are okay. gone. So it would be geographically then. Yes. If you're okay, talking so, about like yeah. an area being wiped out, it's geographic. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So the geographical environment has been formally changed forever. Yeah. Because she saw three demons in a forest and said no. And said, I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs>
Oh, you're going so to ignore cool. me. Here, have this elf kid also mega blast and then just kill them. It was so fucking cool. Like that, it had to be one. Of, I think out of this year, that's the best episode out of all of anime this year. It was definitely like the toughest. Also, like goofball lady demon lady was like i've trained my mana for 500 years and free ring kicked her fucking ass 500 years ago it why was, did she uh, think 80, free like would... 80 years ago or something close to that or, yeah 80 but it's like why did she not think free one was also going to be stronger than she was 80 years ago and also whoop her ass well she probably thought she was working harder I, she didn't know that free rain was like a thousand years old well yeah but oh, yeah. she knew she was older than when they met yeah and she didn't age, and she's an elf, and she knows elves are old. So if you can't guess someone's age, and you're like, oh, if they train mana longer than me, they're going to dingle my dop. Does that imply that when they first fought... Oh, I got a yawn. Unreal. Oh, when they first... I did it. When they first fought, that she didn't um, reveal her epic mana storage power. She just showed up. Uh, and... That's what I assume. I assume yeah. she sat in the back and let Ding Dong the hero go and do his thing. Yeah. I literally think Free Ring could have one shot the Demon Lord if she just felt like it. Probably. Like, she didn't need all those goobers. There was no need for a hero. Free Ring probably could have went. Free Ring yeah. was the hero. Laser, I liked, laser blast. I liked when she's like. She, she like like you said earlier she was like charging her mana for 500 years Freeman's like I'm a thousand years old well more than a thousand years yeah old. she's like I'm more than a thousand years old so I've been alive like three times longer than you've been even charging your mana whatever it, at least double your age yeah I was like that's like just adds to like the hardness of Freeman yeah all Murking your effort the fuck out of the demon lord all your Whatever effort amounts to nothing. You're a fucking loser. Kill yourself now. <laughs> Literally. All right, see ya. I'm Literally. not even going to watch you do it. I'm just going to walk away now. If this episode doesn't uh, rank number one on like all the weekly charts, I'm going to start will. riots. I just I, I, just can't get over fucking... She just said to kill just herself. Kill yourself. Like, and, and like didn't even like watch or look back. She just walked away. Nope. She said, all right. I win. Kill yourself now. And then she just walks and she just dips. She's just gone. For any of those people that have said like, oh, what's cooler than an action movie win when the hero guy doesn't look at the explosion behind him? Does anybody uh, it's an that? elf. No. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm bit. sure people said, nothing's cooler than those scenes. Uh, yeah, there is. It's an elf. And it's when she tells her opponent to kill herself and she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she gosh. basically just ruled Xbox Live. I thought to say that's an Xbox Live party <laughs> if I've ever heard one. Yeah. Oh, it's search and destroy, and I didn't clutch. Hey, kill yourself now, and then they all leave, and that's the equivalent of saying kill yourself now and just leaving the game. Hey, bro, your KD was negative. Kill yourself. <laughs> End your fucking. And then he does life. All right. And then he yeah, does it, but no one's it. there to hear because they all left the party. Yeah. And then he kills himself. <laughs> it was fucking. Just in, I'm still in awe of that episode. I still am. Like, like I said, I literally held my breath. Like I, I couldn't breathe after mm -hmm. watching. I was like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" It was just so good. I so was just fucking good. Awestruck. The Every fact episode. that I just watched an anime where a direct quote is "kill yourself." Kill yourself. Yeah. God, it's like, so good. Like, what are you? What do you do with? What do you do with that? <laughs> You just... I, <laughs> you don't. I've won. I'm the winner. Kill yourself now. Does Free Ring come back next season? Or, yeah, yeah, it's yeah a, it moves into two. Yeah. two it's 28 thing. episodes. Thank fuck, thank. man. Yeah, thank God. What, 28? It's 28 episodes. Hey, do you remember when you weren't watching this show? Yeah. Remember when I picked it up? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, imagine if you like didn't. Imagine if you like somehow like just didn't do it. That would be. And we're the biggest idiot. Yeah, that would be significant cringe levels. That'd be a big L. You know, I'd have to bring back the biggest goober award at that point. That would be the biggest goober. And award. It would, oh, jeez. It would go while. to you. No one's goobered hard enough. <clears throat> it has been a while since anyone goobered. Yeah. If Alex drinks all of the jilk 
he can win biggest Cooper Award. Why do you want that's a <laughs> it's a punishment? You're not we don't want to win the Goober Award. If we con Alex into drinking all of the jilk, he will then win he is the, the Goober, Goober he, Award. If if we can somehow <laughs> trick Alex into drinking all of the jilk, then he is the biggest goober because he deserves to be the biggest goober. Like how did you manage I'll try, to I, I'll try jilk. I think we're all going to try Jilk, and I feel like yeah. there's not an option around it. We all are being forced now to try Jilk. Yeah, I think we owe it to ourselves. I don't to know. Try Jilk. Why I, I would I owe it to myself? I don't. I don't owe myself I anything. I think we do. I think we do. I For owe our, myself nothing. Our sense of adventure and companionship, innovation. There's nothing adventurous <laughs> about this. There's nothing innovative about this either. I, there could name, be. Name one great scientist who has had joke. <laughs> I'm about to blow your guys' minds right now. Just like Freeman blew the mind of that one guy, person she told to kill herself. <laughs> so here, here you go. Name, name something that is creamy, like a dairy substance and minty. And piney. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, well, there you go, Alex. Oh. You just got you just got got. <laughs> I was gonna say the cream on a mint Oreo, but I guess you is that even cream? Won. Like, what is that? Yeah, it's cream. I'll it's probably the greens. same stuff they put in the cane sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Oreo. It's the thing. Oreo dog cum. Like when you think of cream uh, recipe, oh, that stuff is like. Doesn't have that creamy. Here, the texture. Here's what's actually in an Oreo filling. I'm curious. A lot of sugar. It's just sugar. It's, God, this <laughs> is like such a long. Like I just need like a basic list. There is no basic uh, list. Yeah, sugar, like... high fructose corn syrup, soy lichen, artificial flavor, and palm and or canola oil. So sugar, more sugar, and then a bunch of stuff to make it taste not like sugar. Yeah, I wonder I how hoping, they get it. I was in hoping that. for some natural ingredients, you know. Oh, it's a what fucking the Oreo. Fuck? <laughs> it's, like Oreo. <laughs> it's America's favorite cookie. You'd think they'd have some fucking integrity it's to a put a real cookie. ingredient in there. Who said it's cookies America's awesome. favorite? Yeah, cookies are great, but like that's their saying. That's almost saying. nothing in a cookie is natural. They're saying is have I'm you gonna had a chocolate chip cookie? I've had a lot of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> have you really? What's the recipe? <laughs> fucking chocolate and chip. <laughs> Flour, and cookie, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, baking you soda, milk. You milk, the milk, chocolate chip cookie, <laughs> chocolate chip. <laughs> Let me, my favorite part is when I put chocolate chip <laughs> cookies <laughs> in my chocolate chip cookies. That's my Yo. favorite part. Yo, we heard you like chocolate chip cookies, so we put a chocolate chip cookie inside your chocolate chip cookie. Don't, no, we're not bringing 2008 <laughs> back, dude. dude I on. love those so much. I you don't want to exhibit here. Well, you know what we haven't had in a minute? Mm, well, at least me. I haven't had crumble since I last came to visit Luke in Virginia. I, you know, Funny enough, I had the crumble Oreo cookie this week. Congrats. It was fucking awesome. Like, really good. It was the, the chocolate. I, th I think the best one was the red velvet. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. It, that was amazing. It smacked so much dick. Yeah, I that was so good. I think that was my favorite ultimate crumble cookie. I'll have to look at crumbles, but they're dropping tonight. I'm it went nutso. I'm nutso to butso. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the Oreo one was enough. fucking really good. It was like a chocolate, like the dark chocolate cookie, whatever those are. We, um, I, think I was eating a, it last night. You guys Oreo saw me like, I think when we went to I had an Oreo. Not too long this one might have been not different. Crunchy Boston right. cream pie, chocolate cookies and cream, awesome. the confetti cake, salted caramel cheesecake, and chocolate Swiss roll. Oh, that's that's still this week's. Bro. There, there's they, not an they, Oreo on here. Yeah, huh? It's, um, chocolate, cookies, chocolate and cookies and cream. And cream. Yeah. Cookies and cream is not inherently Oreo. Bro, that is a fucking Oreo. I'm gonna knock your ass out, dude. Look, look, look at the picture. You can literally see the Oreo cookie on it. In what world? Look, they just hid the I'm logo. I'm looking at it right now. There's three pieces of it, actually four. I, I can keep referring the to the fragmentation of. Yeah, the fragment. It's like the fragmentations in it. Look, look. At what the if it's not? Look at the, what if look it's at the like... geographical? What if it's off brand? Cookie? What if it's off? Yeah, what if it's knockoff? Then it's not Oreo. It's, it's yeah, cookie and yeah. cream. Yeah, I think yeah. they just didn't want to. Oreo's Oreo. not the only ones that do 
cookies and cream cookies. I'm excited for the cookies. new crumble drop though. I think it's gonna be hopefully Yo, really good. When do they? New crumble when do they drop, drop goes crazy. Usually late tonight or tomorrow. Yo, dude, new crumble drop goes the, crazy. Um, the salted caramel cheesecake. I'm not huge on caramel, but, but yeah, that looks good. I'm not huge on salt. I think the chocolate Swiss roll looks uh, orgasmic, if you ask me. I'd knock a man out for that Boston cream pie. Yeah, the Boston cream pie would go pretty crazy. Cr- here's, pretty here's the thing. I, I'm pretty experienced with crumble, I won't lie. The cookie base of that one is the pie cookie. Um, they're kind of mid. They're a little. They're way more fluffy and airy, or I'd say more airy and crumbly than they than like the regular, say, chocolate chip cookie base or the chocolate cookies and cream base. Well, I'd hope it is. That's in the name of the yeah. It's like shop. a donut. But I don't prefer <clears throat> that type of cookie base. It's just not my favorite. Alex, when the crumble cookie is crumbly. <laughs> <laughs> The um, God. The John. A- Anya had some pretty epic moments in like she, the newest episode. She went and watch crazy. On spoil. I watched Anya, it on Anya had some epic. What you watched on Tuesdays? Yeah, me and Amanda watched uh, Dark yeah. Gathering and Spy Family on Tuesday. They basically called Lloyd a goober. They did call Lloyd a goober. <laughs> More or less, she called him a goober. And she made some good noises and some good faces. And she were... she made an a um a humble callback. Not to peanuts, but but liking nuts. Oh, really? Yeah. They were we need more of that. They need to they need to bring that back more. And uh, I think that might have been the first time this season they've mentioned Anya's like towards peanuts. It wasn't and peanuts. It was cashews. Your yeah, that's fair. That's raw killed a man. Oh yeah, she did. She fucking murdered <laughs> that mean, guy. So I mean, bad. he's fucking dead. I'm excited to watch it. He, this spike hit, like, your head. <laughs> He hit like post mortem rigor mortis. Like it was fucking bad. She murdered this guy. She hit you him with a think... bite of eighty seven. No more frontal lobe. Oh for shit! Him. Uh, it's gone. He's oh, not, no. He doesn't have a frontal. She lobotomized him. <laughs> Do you guys think yours gonna end up quitting the assassin business? I don't know. No. Could you speculate? Am I I gonna, so. Well, I feel like the show wouldn't keep going on if she wasn't an assassin, so my guess is no, she won't quit, because the whole point is that she's an assassin. I feel like she'll continue to do it because she enjoys protecting people and families. I bet you Unless she does quit, and then she has to fight the, the assassin agency. And, yeah, and like, it um, turns like into John, John Wick. Wick. Yeah, except and then she, sure. Except it's an anime woman, and she's way over too overpowered for some reason. And her name's not John. It's your or Wick. Your or pseudonym, the Thorn Princess. Yeah, Forger. 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 <laughs> <laughs> your Forger. Name. I like that his forged name is Forger. Yeah, Lloyd is really epic. He, he really thinks long and hard about it. I like Afro Man. I forget his name, but I like Afro Man. Scruffy? Yeah, I like yeah. Scruffy. <laughs> Fucking love Scruffy. I, I like when Scruffy. I like when Scruffy took so many years to build the robot and your fucking ruined it <laughs> to save the cat. <laughs> Destroyed it to save a cat. <clears throat> that was epic, I think. It was the cat, though. That he was trying to get because he was simping over a woman who was happily yeah. in a relationship. <laughs> he was respectable about it, though. He was like, all right, I'll take but, the L. He, he didn't think, sad. hmm, maybe she's in a relationship before he went out of his way to run around a city looking for a cat and had an assassin almost kill him. That's true. Yeah, he was simping pretty bad. Yeah. I yeah. mean, was down bad. He's a big dingus. Yeah. My favorite episode was when Borf was out on his adventure the to get Borf Lloyd to come back because he didn't, he didn't want to eat yours cooking and die. That was awesome. That was a good one. I saw a lot of people complaining that Spy Family was boring this season. I'm not Quite gonna not gonna front. I wouldn't. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this is boring. I was just like, no, this is like oh, a different direction. But now, like, it's very obviously moved into like the focal point of the season. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say like I, a lot of nothing was happening. Yeah, yeah which like, I didn't necessarily see as a problem because I like a lot of nothing in anime anyway. But I can see where people would kind of draw that assumption. I like this arc, the boat arc. The, the boat, the boat yeah. arc. Too bad we don't have Borf. 
I know. The Titanic 2.0. I don't think That's it's going to sink. I liked when Anya asked when the boat was going yeah. to sink. <laughs> I like that too. She was like, Chi Chi, when's the boat going to sink? And he's like, don't it's not going to. Don't the world needs say to bring that. back ocean liners. Those were epic. They have the them. They're called Carnival Cruise. Well, I don't think those are considered ocean liners. That bitch sails on the ocean. Like and the end and a line. Yeah. Like an ocean liner definition. Uh the Carnival Cruise yeah, come up. No. It did not. Disney Cruise. It said a they large needed... luxurious passion ship of a type formerly used on a regular line. We should bring back transatlantic ocean yeah. liners. Yeah. Maybe that's what that's I'm the key. Of. Transatlantic, because then we traverse the Atlantic. In a we, line. We, we, trans, we translate the Atlantic in a line over to the other uh, area and of the world. That's on the other a side of the Atlantic. to point B in style, <laughs> on the water. We go from point A to point B in the fastest method possible, a straight line. In a boat. Ish. I think I can hear Finn barking. I can I definitely hear Finn barking. I heard him. He was a little quiet. He's, yeah. he's borking. He's borfing. We should bring back ships that look like the Titanic instead of these. We should just bring back the Titanic. Water. Yeah, we should just raise it. We should bring back the Titanic. We should put all the rich people on it and then just let them go out into the ocean and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I think cruise ships are different than ocean liners. How so? I don't know. There's a YouTube video that says ocean liners versus cruise ships. I, I'm like genuinely curious. I because they're both like the Titanic was basically a cruise ship. It held a lot of passengers. There was luxurious air. I mean, okay, there was obviously different classes, but unlike says, a cruise ship where people happily relax for weeks at ocean, ocean liners are built for speed. This means ocean liners will typically carry more fuel than cruise ships. The Queen Mary II is a great example of a modern ocean liner and has 40% more steel in her structure than cruise ships. I wonder... Um, so ocean liners' goal is for transportation. Cruise cruise liners are they have the goal of sunshine. just relaxation mm -hmm. and ocean breeze. Ocean breeze. Have right. you guys wanted to go on a cruise? Kind of. I have as well. I, like, I want I'm, to, I'm, and at the same time, I, I'm like, eh. But I think if, if the opportunity presented itself, I would go. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try it. The amount of people be... at my work that have gone on cruises in the past, like, a year is astronomical. Someone told me which cruise, someone told me a certain cruise company to avoid. If you don't remember, it's probably a good thing. Yeah. Like, cruise. What's the biggest one? There's Carnival, um... There's another think... huge one. Carnival is like the There's... the poor man's cruise. Is it? Is that might have been what it was? No, not like avoiding. It's like it's for like... an affordable cruise. Like if you um, you don't get like all the super mega bells and whistles, but like it's affordable for the average person. There's Royal Caribbean as well. Oh, Royal Caribbean's a big one. I heard that one is not good, but I don't really? remember why. I don't remember why. I just remember hearing that forever ago. Not um... that I know. Like what the fuck would I know? I've never been on one. I mean, there's a lot. There's like Regent, Disney Mom. Cruise Line. Fuck Disney. Fuck Disney. Fuck Disney and their cruise line. I think it'd be. I think it would be really cool to get one because, like, you get like a, a fucking room with like a balcony on the ocean. Like, how cool is that? The it's biggest sweet. note that I've heard is when you go on a cruise, get the drink pass because it's totally fucking worth it. Yeah, I, I think. Heard, um. um it's like forty dollars, and you just drink all you want, or something. My like that. sister's been on a couple cruises. Oh, she so gets like Joe. food and drink pass. I think the food like, pass comes with it. I like, think so. I think oh, really? The the drink package is separate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would totally spend the extra money. I don't even care if it's like a hundred dollars more. Like it's like you could I think do it's, that. I think it's kind of a significant price. But you yeah, but save like, a significant amount. Yeah, because I heard yeah. like. Jonathan told me the bill for his. Um, they didn't get the drink package, I don't think. And he told me the bill for like their liquor bill for the time. It was like his whole family, grandparents. I don't know how many people, like a good amount of people, but it was a lot of money. Yeah, Much like it, it brings me back to like when when I was in Vegas, I got two drinks, one for me and Amanda, 
It was fifty dollars for two fucking drinks. Was it in a casino? Yeah, it was. You're an idiot. I, I didn't you, know. Yeah, I, that's the only drink I drank there. No, you drink for free if you gamble. I didn't. How does that work? Like, how does it actually work? Because we were they see we, you we gambling. Gambled. They come over and say, "Hey, do you want a drink?" You say, "Yeah," and ninety percent of the time, they will just give you a fucking drink. All you have to do is give them a tip, and they'll go, "Thanks, bud," and then they'll walk away. <laughs> I swear, I saw maybe, like, five casino attendants throughout my whole time there. Like, I hardly saw them. Like, it's only, it's common practice almost everywhere. Because they don't make their money off alcohol. They make their money off of you mm -hmm. giving them fucking money yeah. to try to win nothing. The drunker like, you get, the I, more, I the better you get gambling. Many. It's mm -hmm. Like, I even pointed it out. I'm like, I don't see a lot of people walking around with, like, trays and... It's because you weren't... Maybe stuff. you didn't see him because they didn't want you to see him. You weren't gambling yeah. hard enough. That's yeah, true. you need to spend more. I did not you, spend a lot. I will. You, so you're probably you gave right. up before you hit the big jackpot. Yeah, you were, you yeah. were this close, dude. You could have just spent the, like another hundred bucks, and you probably would have won thousands. I did find out how much the drink packages were. This one says much? like um, seventy dollars per person per day, and typically they're what like three, four day cruises or something like that. Yeah, it's just I think four typically days. four to a week. That's really not that bad. Two eighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To drink all you want. Yeah, yeah. drinks. I would do that for sure. Fuck yeah. That's that's easy. But the food is like included? Yeah, it's included like with your ticket. I think it depends on where you go. I think it's like limited on the places because there's like... Fuck, oh, Jesus Christ. There's a, like fancy restaurants on the cruises mm -hmm. that cost more money and they don't get included in that. So you'd have to that's pay for fair. those. I wouldn't even that's care. I'd be, I'd be like the buffet type type of... Give I'd me like that to try a little yeah. fancy one. I think it'd be cool. Also, I'm going to snort all this liquor that you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me your liquor. What's your most expensive liquor? Give me it. I don't pay. You guys got milk back there? You got gin? Mix it. <laughs> Mix it now. Yeah, it'd be interesting to go on one. You guys got Disarono? Can I get a Disarono and milk on the rocks? <laughs> on the rocks? <laughs> Do you? You're not supposed to put that on the rocks, are you? Would you put uh, Would you put ice in your milk? <laughs> Answer that question Fuck first. No, I would not put ice in my. So milk. now, would you drink Disarono and milk on the rocks? No. <laughs> but it does have Disarono in it. Okay. I think that's it significantly also has milk more in milk, it. though. Yeah, by a large margin. It should be. What? <laughs> Here's my Disarono with a splash of milk. <laughs> your Disarono with a splash of milk, sir. Mm, cherry syrup with some milk in it. I wonder if we got a Starbucks drink and put um, Disarono in it. I guarantee people like. I bet there's a lot of alcoholics out there. Yeah, we're functioning. We'll go get their morning Starbucks and then just dump some shit in it. Call it a day. Yeah, I dump some whiskey in their black Starbucks coffee. Yeah. Because, you know, nothing sounds tastier in the morning than black Starbucks coffee and some whiskey. And a Colombian brew with some Jack Daniels. Colombian bang bang. I'm a Man, Pike, that Pike's Place bad. kind of guy. Just kidding. I don't drink black coffee. Did you say Mike's Place? Pike Place. <laughs> Pike, oh. Pike's Place. I thought you said Mike's Place. I was like, you no. You guys are light, medium, or dark roast? Uh, I don't think it matters. I just get a bunch of other shit in it to it. Kind of gets rid of the taste of regular coffee i'm a coffee guy i just like coffee that reminds me of this one time <laughs> um, i was like are you there i thought he froze <laughs> no that reminds me of this one time um we were taught i think i i think i was an ass about this situation so correct me if i'm wrong anthony um we were talking with the old band members, and you said you like cars, but you're not a car guy, and they threw up a huge hissy fit. Yeah. And they were like, no, you can't you can't like cars and not be a car guy. You have to you have to be a car guy and like cars. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I just, I don't know, that's, I don't know why I thought of the coffee situation, like, kind of like, I don't really care, I just like coffee. People are like, no, you can't, you can't you, like you're, you're coffee not a, and not be a coffee guy. You have to be a coffee guy. Man, you you have to be. What do you it doesn't mean? make any sense. Well, I mean, do you have fingers? You, then you're yeah. a finger guy, so you're a finger guy now. So if you, you make have, coffee, you have feet, right? Then you're a foot guy. 
You have mulch in your yard, right? And you I like love eating mulch. Eating mulch and microplastics. I don't know why I just remembered that. Was I an ass about that? Whose side did I take? I can't remember. I can't either. You probably took left Twix. No one else took right Twix. I I actually take right Twix. I I'm I'm towards the right. I I'm, I'm a righty. Really, I don't really eat Twix. I'm you've a had, surely you've had a right or left Twix. I've had both. Are you saying you don't like Twix? Or I like, you I like Twix. I just don't regularly eat Twix. I was about to say, you're kind of wrong if you don't like Twix. Twix, is, are Twix awesome, is great. Yeah. Twix, Twix I have is Snickers here. Fantastic. You know what's really good is the uh, Twix ice cream. It is good. Oh, dude. Have, like, you talking like the ice cream bar? Mm hmm Bro. Oh, my fucking God. We have those at work. I have wait, every wait, day. Wait. I have to tell myself We not have those it. at work? Oh, and like yeah, the freezer. Yeah, ice cream bar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have those, and we have Snickers ice cream downstairs. Yeah, at my work, I like the I'm Twix like, better. I like the Twix better. The, the Twix has the, the caramel, the caramel good. that's like more runny. No, the Snickers has runny caramel. But I think that I've had, because I've had both in the same day once. Um, and yours probably just froze then, because yeah. they're both the it same caramel did. for me. Because it's, it's fine. It, it, Maybe it's I'll like have to try it back to back. Maybe if I'm feeling we have blue bunny ice cream there too, like little little cups of blue bunny. Mm -hmm. I've only bought one, like and ever. they just brought in they just brought in these Oreo popsicles. Oh, they're whatever. free though; they're just giving them away. Yeah, they're free. They're just giving away ice cream. Yeah, I guess. Uh, it's the middle of fucking winter. <laughs> I know. I was confused. I'm like, bro, yeah. it's, it's November. Yeah. It's kind of cold out. I, I found it funny that they put ice cream in the freezer, but they didn't have any water in the cooler. I was like, what the fuck. Time to wake up at 4 a.m. It's 40 degrees out. I better get some ice cream this morning for free. <laughs> Give me some ice fucking cream. ice cream. <laughs> Nothing sounds better at 40 degrees Fahrenheit than some ice cream. Mm. This and some head. <laughs> this and some hole. Jonathan sent me a picture like that. It was like... It was like a Pepsi. It said like this is some hole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like that. I don't like the term <laughs> and some hole. It was it was really funny though. That made me giggle. Yard. And then we were looking at the picture of the little Caesars where it says shit your fucking pants. <laughs> In the back, the milk carton says crazy milk. <laughs> Get you some crazy milk. With your, your crazy bread. Pants. God, crazy I love milk. I love crazy bread. It is really good. When's Are you guys a fan of Little, little Caesars? I was going to say, when's the last time you had it? Uh, I don't like their hot and ready because it definitely just tastes like a pizza that's been sitting under a heat lamp yeah. for the past twelve <laughs> for the past like six hours. The hot and ready is like definitely mid, but for five bucks, I guess it's not that the bad. The deep, deep dish is not bad. The for deep, five, deep dish is awesome. For five bucks, would you rather get a pizza that's been sitting under a heat lamp for six hours or two cheeseburgers that have been sitting under heat lamps for six hours. Yeah, the choice is you yours. You decide. Uh, depends. I think um, it really depends how hungry I am and if anybody's with me. Fuck you, we're eating the heat lamp pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you get there the when the hot... Though. As I say, when the hot and ready comes out fresh and you get it, that's when mm -hmm. it's a steal. Are they yeah. still only was... five bucks? I think Probably, so. Probably. I, I, you know, I wonder that. If so, that's crazy. Five dollars yeah. for a whole fucking pizza. And that tells me the rest of the fucking world is lying. Like we had to raise prices. It's like the Little Caesars can keep their, yeah. If Little Caesars can keep their hot and ready five fucking dollars, you can keep your hot dog combo to a dollar. Well, they didn't Dude, change it. Stuffed crazy bread three fifty. All right. You can get cookie dough brownie for three eighty nine. Where's the fucking hot and ready's? I don't want to apply for Little Caesars, please. Just tell me how much a hot and ready is. No, I don't want to get delivery or pickup. It's DiGiorno. You want deli they deliver? Five fifty-five. Five fifty-five. They raised it fifty-five cents. Dude, here's a coupon. A, a coupon. Eighteen ninety nine for a two topping large pizza crazy combo and Caesar wings. You know what I do wish too? I wish what? Subway kept the five dollar foot long. Now it's like twelve dollars or something. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking expensive. Yeah. Subway is like so utterly mid it's not even funny. It is very we, mid. We had uh we had Penn Station not long ago. It's so much better than Subway. I fuck with Penn Station. Holy fuck, did they Dude, get expensive. It, they did get expensive. 
but their subs are pretty fucking fire. Pretty damn good. Yeah, they're really good. Their yeah, bread is awesome. The bread was great. I got like, the teriyaki yeah. chimkin. Mm-hmm. It blew Subway out of the water. It's I get so the good. Italian. Italian. At Subway, awesome. they're like, here, order, <laughs> or make your own sub now. You guys Jimmy Johners? I love Jimmy John's. I, I mean, I've I've eaten it before. I don't eat like subs a lot at all. It's, like almost. It's ever. been a long time. I love subs. I just don't get them usually. I'm kind of the same way, Luke. I I always enjoy a sub when I have one, but I don't have them that often. Like if I was to go out and someone's like, "Let's go get like Jersey Mike's," I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, let's go get Jersey Mike's." Mm-hmm. But if I'm by myself, I'm gonna go. I don't know what the fuck to get. I don't want to. Yeah, get I typically Jersey avoid Mike's. them by myself. They're like a friend food. It is like, yeah, I really only eat it with other people. Like the last yeah. time I had Jimmy John's before, like last week after we were moving that shit, was with Luke. And we were going on a trip that night. I think the last time I had Jimmy John's was with Luke too in uh, Erie, PA. It was in Erie? Me and, yeah, oh. me and Luke drove up separate. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we got up there, dropped off all the shit, said we're hungry, and went to fucking yeah. Jimmy John's. Uh, yeah, I think that was the last time I had Jimmy John's. And then we had a terrible weekend, and it was awesome. It was it was, <laughs> it was a weekend. It was awesome. I think the, the good thing about Erie is the the two restaurants we went to, those are were, those were good. Those are always good. Those were good. Yeah. They're not bad. They're not yeah. bad. That was about it. Erie exists. Erie is a city. It's a place. Yeah, it's in, it, it is. Exist. It's it's in Pennsylvania. I was there twice. Here's yeah. here's facts about Erie. It's a city, and it's in Pennsylvania. It is that a city. one burger joint we went to there was pretty good. The first first round though. Oh, Big Bar. Yeah, that was that was a good burger. We didn't go to Big Bar last time. Not the second yeah, time. We did. we did the first time. No. The only thing that the only thing that matters is bagel shop. Yeah, the bagel. Yeah, go that's fucking the best crazy. fucking thing about Erie is that See, bagel shop. Shout to the local matters. bagel shop at Lake Erie, PA. <laughs> I wonder ba- if bagel I can shock. find that bagel shop. <laughs> you went the local bagel shop. <laughs> local bagel shop in Erie, PA. Um, I'm gonna try and locate that bagel shop via Google Maps. Have you ever like gone somewhere and you're trying to ask for something because you can't find it, but you forget what it is you, you're trying to ask for? So you're like trying to describe it, and you look like a big fucking dipshit. And the person behind the counter was like, "You mean this?" And you're like, "Yes, thank you for fucking telling me." And they look at you like you're the dumbest man alive. I found. Dude, it. that's that's literally me. I'm like, I, yeah, what that that thing, and you know, like we I do it to that, you all the time, Luke. I had that yesterday at the card shop. That's awesome. Oh, really? I was like, I was like, I need perfect fit sleeves for my cards, except I forgot the name perfect fit. So I looked at him and I was like, I need card tight. And the, guy, <laughs> the guy was like, Do you mean fucking perfect? I was like, Yeah, I forgot the name. <laughs> I need card tight sleeves and for my cards. And he looked at me like I was the dumbest man alive, and my face was so red because I felt so embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the name of that show? It has that it has that it's voice actor that. that you know it yeah, is. Yeah, you know what he sounds like. <laughs> you know what he sounds yeah, like. He sounds like like, the... like he has a deep voice. It sounds and like, really cool. He, it's it's really manly. Like fuck off, <laughs> fuck you. You're not even oh, trying man. with that. You're just saying words. I found the bagel shop. shop. The bagel shop. Give him a shout. Big shouts to New York Bagel and Deli in Erie, PA best fucking bagel sandwiches you're gonna get and they got this strawberry cream cheese that is off the hook off the skis egg and they got like a hundred thousand types of bagels like this was got i don't like pickles but this has fucking pickles on it uh there's some over here looks like cheese or something the jalapeno bagel with the uh, onion and chives cream cheese was smack daddy they just smack a certain type of way this place goes pretty crazy yeah, that's it, the that's the best food in Erie, PA. So it, big shouts to New York Bagel and Deli Company. Goes off the shaboing boing, honestly. It is yeah, the shaboing boing. If if anybody listening is, is in Erie or finds themselves in Erie, and wants to go off go the shaboing boing, yeah, if you want to go off the shaboing boing, and the dude who owns it, uh, he was cool. He's as fucking fuck awesome. Too. He's super cool. He stopped by the booth, gave us some stickers. 
Yeah. They own the place. I, he fucking walks like, out. He's like, like I know yeah. you guys. Like, like yeah. literally next time when we when we travel, if we're if we're heading up that way, I want to stop in Erie just to like the issue is visit. We leave at night. I yeah, know. we leave at like eleven thirty or midnight. Yeah. And we don't get back to Erie until like eleven thirty midnight usually on the way home. Yeah, so we choose, so it doesn't we choose matter. the fuck you driving times. Yeah. That's still guess, vacation in Erie. Why? I'm good. Come on. Hey, here's Bag- your... Bagels. Two-hour drive for a vacation. That sounds like you're real far from home. It's Biderman. literally like we could just drive to the bagel shop, get some bagels, and go the fuck home. It literally could just be a day trip. Not even a day trip. That could just be a morning trip. We drive two <laughs> like, hours, yeah. get bagels, and drive two hours. Leave at 6 a.m., get there get back 9 in. o'clock-ish. Come I mean, at home, that point, we might as well 11. do that. We could do that, go get bagels, go to Cleveland, see the cod, and then go home. And that could be our fucking, like, a day. Yeah, we like, literally like, could do be, that. That'd be easy. Actually, that, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, Yeah, like, so the, I guess uh, me and Alex were talking, and we didn't, like, we don't have anything planned because the fucking New Jersey's gone. She just yeah, disappeared. She's, she's, she's fucking she gone. disappear, <laughs> Anthony. She's fucking gone. So that that was going to be our trip this year, but she's gone. She's gone. So we don't she have a trip great. this year. Let's let's the take great a trip. Ghost take a trip her. to the New York Bagel and Deli. See the cod because we still haven't seen the cod. I I wanted mm-hmm. to buy it over the summer when I was going to an air show, and it's there. It's cool. It's a submarine. We can go see the cod. Knock that off the list. Be home by a uh, fucking dinner time. I'd be like two. I don't know how long. Uh, the cod probably won't take too long. It's a submarine. No, it won't take long at all. Yeah. And I don't want to stay in Cleveland. I do not like Cleveland. No. Cleveland is my city. <laughs> Born and bred Cleveland, my city. Yeah. England is my city. England? Did you say born and bred? <laughs> yeah. Born in and bred. <laughs> born in bred. Born in bred or born and bred? Born, born in bred. I was born and bred in Cleveland. <laughs> I was about to ask what kind of bread. <laughs> um, honey wheat. Uh, yeah, I was going to What's that? Sourdough. 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 Sourdough is the best bread. It's good Sourdough bread. is awesome. Sourdough it's the best. best. Literally the best. Um, Literally. We need to do anime of the week. Uh, Yeah. It is that time. What time yeah. are we at? 57 minutes. Yeah, that sounds like a good time <laughs> to do anime of the week. Uh, hold on one second. I need to, I need to, I need to, um, well, this is, this is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, we don't make mistakes here. We always prepare things ahead of time. Yeah. That's uh, what we do. I'm going to do my anime of the week to be a fun show. It's real fun. Nothing bad happens. It's called school live. <clears throat> oh, geez. Oh boy. Uh, it's just a nice story about you know these girls and they there's four of them and they they're part of the school living club they just live at school for fun and it's like you know this real cute show and they just you know they have a garden up top on the roof and they get their food from there and they hang out and they have fun and every day they go to class and it's just like you know it's a cute time it's a cute little sweet time that there's also surrounded by zombies but that's not the point the point is that it's a cute time that they just hang out and have fun at school yeah, and it's not only through the perspective of the one girl who is in complete denial about the whole situation. It's not who's happening. in a which, complete which delusion. Girl is, it? is it the purple hair, Karuma? Uh, no, the it's goofy pink looking hair. One. The pink hair with the hat. It Yuki. looks like she's always having a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah, she has. A lot she of fun is. Every day. She's having a lot of fun every day with people that are totally there and not dead, and aren't delusions in her mind as she. Face it, refuses to face the reality that everyone she used to know and go to school with is dead and gone. Yeah. So I find it very interesting. I just read the synopsis. Not once does it mention what actually happens. No, it doesn't. So I, no, I like doesn't. that. I think that's very interesting. Imagine like diving into this. You're like, I just, I just need a happy show, something that'll really make me happy. You had a bad week. Start school live. 
and you decide to read this synopsis, you're like, this sounds like a nice and fun show. And that's you, just a little silly. And you're like, I love uh, the tags. I love the tags. Horror, mystery, supernatural, slice of life. Because it is. Yeah, it's a slice yeah, of yeah life. they're in the school living club. They just live at school. And you know, they're not allowed I, to leave. I have never seen that show yet. You haven't seen School Live? Hmm. Huh. It's happy. It's a happy, fun time, and the ED is a banger. It is a banger. A certified banger. Certified it, in classics. I've banger. heard the ED and OP. Both are bangers. Certified yeah, in classics. They're both fucking awesome. <laughs> Luke, how I, many uh, how many dog, dog bones do you give this one? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight dog eight. bones. Yeah. This one's like a cult <laughs> classic almost. Good I had a lot of fun watching it because it's just a fun, happy, little silly show about a you know group of girls. They just live at school and have fun and enjoy their days. Yeah, they just love life. Love they life. Love life. <laughs> they love. <laughs> they love life. This I don't remember Love Live School Idol Project. This looks a lot different than Sunshine. Oh, where's Whoopi? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd do something nice and happy for Anime of the Week because you know we've we've been on a nice little rant of like you know not so happy shows like yeah. that. We need yeah. something more cheerful like that show. That's looking out. I I should watch that next. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was gonna start. Um... Dude. <laughs> what. I swear to God, if you say what's no, that show, okay, I'm no, gonna I know, fucking lose it. I forget the name, but when I, I I can describe it, and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The like quintessential magical girl show. Madoka Magic. Pretty? Yeah, Madoka Magic. I almost said Pretty Cure because I don't know. Like, I should have said like. It de it depends on what you mean by quintessential, because there's I mean I would say Sailor Moon's a quintessential magical girl show. The one with the pink-haired girl. <laughs> that does help. Because you, Yuki Yuna is a hero as a pink-haired main character as well. <laughs> if you mean like uh, like the quintessential magical girl yeah, show, yeah, then yeah, yeah it's yeah. Madoka Magica. 100%. Yeah. I think I was going to start. Fantastic. I need to watch the movie, the uh, sequel movie. How long is Madoka Magica? Uh, I, think it's only, I think it's only 12 episodes, I think. Yeah, but there's, it's more than one season. I think, I think it's season, two movies. It's 12 episodes. I think it's two seasons, two movies, yeah. So 24 episodes. I want to say so. I need to watch the movies still because I am cringe and dumb and stupid and stinky. I still need to watch the movie before. Oh, no, it's it's only one season. Oh, oh, interesting. I need to it watch is it. a one season, 12 episode, and then a single movie, which is the third movie because the other two are recap movies. Easy enough. I guess there's four, or I guess there is two movies. Oh, because this one's coming out. They're making another sequel movie, which is why I want to watch the oh. first one. Because it revolves around, you know, our main girl, Omura. Yep. Who's based and awesome. And yeah, quite epic. Nothing, nothing bad happens. No, she lives a great life. She lives a very happy life, and nothing bad happens to her. Why are magical girl shows so fucking sad? Fuck Cuba. Cuba All my homies fucking hate Cuba. Yeah. All my homies despise Cuba. Yeah, Cuba is a little fucking, shit. I fucking hate him. Cuba is a little shit. And when there, you watch it and you like Cuba, or if you like Cuba, I'm beating you to death. Prepare oh. to get the free run treatment. <laughs> what? <laughs> the kill yourself. Kill yourself. I don't yeah, think you're going to like Cuba. It won't be a pretty no. sight if you say, I think Cube is pretty all right. It won't yeah. be pretty. Dude, the floppy eared thing is pretty cool. You'll be finding yourselves in between Cinema a roll. rock and a gallon of gilk. Cinema roll is Cube. <laughs> Cinema roll is Cube. That's why Karomi's better. That is why Karomi's better. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. That's why Pom Pom no. Pudding is king. <laughs> Pom Pom Pudding is fucking Pom -pom, awesome. Pom Pom Pudding on top best Pun golden it. retriever around pudding dude made a pudding. fucking pudding <laughs> he's a golden retriever made out of pudding, pudding. he's just awesome he's so palm, great what a palm goober. palm pudding, pudding on top on the beat 
on up. We like mom pom pudding. And pudding. And, and, and pudding. pudding. And dog. And pudding. Dog. Anyway. <clears throat> I'll be honest about out for it for the week. I don't really have any other topics. Yeah, that was my happy anime of the week, so I feel like I've really brightened everyone's day up. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of a happy yeah. note. Yeah, good jolly Christmas note. Even though Thanksgiving is the next holiday, but... Speaking of Thanksgiving, before we do close out, is anybody going to watch the new Thanksgiving horror film? No. The what? Oh, the... Um, no, Thanksgiving. The turkey no. killer. You know... No. Hear me out. Maybe we I'm should listening. watch it. No, Maybe we should. Because I, I went and we saw. The, I saw. I went and saw the Christmas one last year, and it was, it was pretty all right. So maybe they'll do Turkey Day pretty good. Yeah, get stuffed this holiday season <laughs> with the Halloween thriller. Uh, <laughs> Is that like the uh, tagline? No, I just made that up. <laughs> I would really hope not, because that does not sound right at. <laughs> <be> so- <laughs> If their tagline I think was I went get to the wrong movie. <laughs> if their tagline was get stuffed, I'd go see it. Get stuffed this holiday season with the next Thanksgiving thriller. Get stuffed, fuck ass, and then it's... What's the premise? Like Thanksgiving Day, families all together. It's in like some town in Massachusetts that like takes Thanksgiving oh, really seriously. Of course it's Massachusetts. Oh, and then like yeah. someone commits a crime. There's like a serial killer who dresses as a pil- as a pilgrim. Yeah. Imagine being born and raised in massive two shits. And I think, <laughs> I think he, I think he kills people in the like theme of the foods. I'm gonna roast you like a turkey. Like I think he puts someone in the <laughs> oven. He I might mean, like mash someone. Bro, like, what, potatoes. How do you, you know how like stuffing is made? They put it in the ass of the turkey. <laughs> like, Go what on. If he, what if he put someone? In the ash of a turkey, and then cooked them. I don't know why that reminded me of. There's this, these videos I see, and this guy's like, "Here's saw traps. Or saw traps are gonna be like." And he's like, "You spent your whole life cheating on your boyfriend. Now you're gonna have to figure out how to cheat your way out of death. I've put a pipe bomb up your ass." <laughs> <laughs> I've recently watched um some of the saw movies. I watched one. I. I saw Saw X too, but I think it's funny. <laughs> like, he's like, you stole a paperclip from Office Max. <laughs> Welcome to the bear trap. Like, dude, this guy didn't even do anything that bad. Like, at all. Anthony, Anthony. I... For years, you have been stealing paperclips from Office Max. It is time to repay that debt to the Max that is Office. We've put 10 paperclips inside your abdomen. You must use this knife to cut it out in 30 seconds. Or the trap around your neck will explode. <laughs> like, I get the point of Saw. It's a, it, like, the story would make sense. The problem, if cops come to find him, he just kills them. They could be totally fine. Good guys have done nothing wrong with their lives. He just kills them. He did, he did kill them in Saw. And they're just, they're just cops. But like, they're just say, doing their job. I saw Saw. I, I liked, um, like, the first Saw. And I, I liked them all. I, I thought it was a little funny how he's like taking people like this guy stole fucking paper clips and he's putting a bear trap around his neck like that's a little out there but so I watched Saw X too and that one was really good it it had like a, a significant story to it it wasn't just kidnap people it centered around Jigsaw himself and but how he, that's the problem with it is I, that it completely contradicts the entire rest of the series, which is he's supposed to be punishing people for wrongdoings, and then he's just like, you fucked me over, die now. And that's kind of like how they've sold it. Well, I don't know if that's how the movie goes, but that's how they've sold it so far. It's not just him. They fuck over a lot of people because they're running like a, a scam business. Mm-hmm. But with it, it was significantly more like plot-driven. I thought that was interesting and cool. Mm-hmm. But... um. I still have to see it. There's a lot of contradictions in the Saw series. Like, I think it's... Is it three or four where it's the woman that took over for him? Uh, it's like... Three. I, three, I, I three. think it's three. It's three. And 
like near the end you realize that there was no way for anyone to win the traps so she was just brutally murdering them so he comes back and kills her and it's like you that's not how i run this and then he like basically just kills her i heard they got kind of shitty after like but after a few. then i think it's saw six or something like that where a new guy is taken over he does the same thing the chick does in three and jake's hall doesn't do anything about it he's just like yeah that's right that's good thumbs up and then he just lets it go like he just completely contradicts what he said to like literally two movies prior yeah i still it. have to I'm watch sure. them. i've seen one no, I see. I seen one and X. Not, I, I've seen not two one. through seven. There's I've seen so one, and then I just watch. I just watch videos on it because, like, mm -hmm. even then, if you watch it, some of the traps are so fucking dumb. I think Saw Two has some of the worst traps out of all of them. I forget what Saw Two had. Saw Two is where, the cop. Uh, yeah, the and his kid was actually in the safe the whole time, and he just didn't listen to a single word Jigsaw oh, said yeah. at the beginning see, of the I movie. Thought that was a great fucking twist at the end. I didn't expect it, it, and I thought that was a great twist. You know, it would be a lot bigger of a twist if it, they didn't just tell you at the start of the movie and you paid attention. Like, if you pay attention to the movie at all, the start tells you the whole thing. Yeah, but you don't ex you don't expect the obvious. I think that's what like makes it so twisty. Is like <sighs> they tell you, but you don't you don't realize it because you haven't seen it for the first I, time. Right, but I like the thing is, is in the first movie they very strictly provide that everything jigsaw says is to be taken literally listen to him all the way through everything he says is taken literally that gives you the answer every single time and then the first the start of the second movie instantly the dude just doesn't listen to jigsaw at all well, i think it's it's because like the sheer state of panic that the people are in and their their mindset isn't in like let me analyze what this guy says his his mindset was like my son is on this video screen and I need to save him. And this guy knows where he is. So like his I, thinking was skewed from the beginning. I guess it's just a matter of how you look at it. I see it more as the movies have very, like after the first one, they have very, very strictly written in just pure lines, how Jigsaw thinks. Yeah. It's really hard to not go anything. Jigsaw says, just take it at face value and leave it at that. And you've fought, you've won the movie. You've already won. Yeah, he's very adamant on his word. I yeah, man, Jake's already out here. I don't know. The the other, like, the traps in two are fucking stupid, too. Like, the one guy is in, there's an incinerator, and there's, like, a key at the end he has to get. Mm -hmm. Instead of, like, I don't know, not crawling into the fucking incinerator, he just crawls into it <laughs> and dies. Yeah, he was dumb. And it's like... They're, they're trying to use, like, this whole subplot of, like, the, there's, like, this gas going in that's skewing how they think or some shit like that or, or some dumb like that. But it's, like... Well, I think they did it, die from that. One lady did die from that. But it, the point was that it wasn't, like, to kill them. It was to... they It was, like, slowly suffocating them so their brain function was mm -hmm. going bad. Except he crawled in at, like, the like the third trap of the movie. Like, it wasn't Actually, long enough for them to be fucked over. His, he just his, didn't... his might have been, like, the first real trap. Is it, like, I think so too. is it like a gauntlet of traps they have to go through? No. No, so... each room has a different trap and a vial of, like, medicine. Anti-poison. Yeah, like anti-poison. An and anti to get to it, they're they're in some sort of trap. Because it's the second one, Jigsaw kidnapped a bunch of... I think they're, like, all kids, like, between no, the ages it was, of... um, <clears throat> they were it was... They were criminals that the kid's dad, who was a cop, arrested like in a bad way he like planted evidence on him so like it's all these criminals that got arrested by him and then there's the kid whose dad did it that's in the house with him and they don't know that that's the cop's son yeah they're in a the cold end. trapped house and it's just yeah. filled with traps and dumb shit so he he kidnapped the criminals mm -hmm. but they had evidence planted on them by the cop I thought it was that he they got Some away did. because the well, cop didn't why are they, arrest them. If they, I don't know I why it, they, I don't I don't know why they were in there. I thought it was they got away with it. Like the cop, the cop dude didn't like take them away or something. Like he well, let them get they, away with it. They mentioned that they did years in certain prisons because <laughs> I of, don't remember because of a dude that doesn't make that cop. sense. If I don't know why he captured the criminals. Like, obviously, they did something bad, but I don't know. But it, yeah, you can see how it literally does talking about it. The Saw 2 doesn't even make sense because it goes against everything that Jigsaw, quote-unquote, stands for. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like piece together why he would, if these guys had evidence planted on them, they were falsely accused. He's like, yeah, I think I'll just kidnap these unlucky bastards. Yeah, I, this it, is I why... think it was all to get back at the cop or something. This is why Boy, I stand that, that Saw Saw is nothing more than gore porn. If you watch it for the story, you're a fool because the story is garbage. And if you pay attention to it, it it gets worse the more you pay attention to the Saw story. I liked the first one. I liked the. There was a lot of plot twist. It was cool. It was. It was the first nice. one's was super good. cool. It's like the best yeah. one of the series. First one's the first awesome. One. And then, I don't know. Hearing two, I'm like, oh, that doesn't make any fucking sense. They only get worse from there. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's like the consensus that I've heard. Yeah, it's uh, it's really funny how bad the movie's getting. It saw that's for sure. Uh, yeah, and you saw it coming. It's like Puppet Insidious. Man. That's not a good. Movie. Don't need Insidious go sucks so bad. Here we go there. So We're gonna bad. end on Insidious. How about that? That's an <laughs> Insidious ending. Bed. You guys can go to bed thinking about Insidious and Darth. That's Maul. an Insidious ending. Yeah, Darth Maul. Star Wars X horror movie. It's me, Ooga Booga. I'm going to get you. Yeah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Want to see my lightsaber? Just kidding, I forgot it. I'm a, I'm a demon now. You know, I've never seen the movie, but do you guys know the scene in Terrifier when <laughs> the woman's like beating the shit out of him? And he pulls out a fucking gun and shoots her in the leg. <laughs> no. I've never, I don't think I've seen it. So Terrifier is the one with the clown that goes around killing people. He's really creepy and weird. And I don't I don't know it because I haven't seen it. I've only seen the clip. But he's a slasher villain. And he's like getting ready to kill this chick. And she just starts like beating the fucking piss out of him. And he's like on the ground. She has like a metal bar or something. She's like yelling at him to get up so she can fucking hit him in the head again. And he's like, oh. And then he goes... <laughs> and like puts out a gun and shoots her in the leg, and it is the funniest scene ever. Terrifier you're like, this is a... Dad, it, it's a, like a slasher with a knife and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a slasher movie, and then he pulls a fucking gun. Dude okay. cheats. Okay, Terrifier. Uh, that's all I had. Yeah, I'm fresh cooked, like a turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Yep. Gobble gobble. All right. Any closing messages, gentlemen? Uh, brush your teeth. Floss Sancho, your teeth. marry me. All right. Thorpe said floss. All right, Thorpe, floss now. Fortnite dance. Go ahead. Yeah. No. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, no? <laughs> no. I'm not gonna. I didn't ask you to. All right, guys. That is the end of today's episode of the Hello Alarm <laughs> Podcast. I hope you found anything interesting, funny, or informative. If so, let us know down in the comments down below. Leave a like, hit the bell button, and make sure to subscribe for a weekly episode of the Hello Harm podcast. And make sure to join the Discord down in the description below. Talk anime or just shoot the shit with the Hello Harm homies. We will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>